Wow. Oh, so good. For how small this floor plate is, this is a really functional floor plate. The only thing I guess that I could offer from a practical perspective. This looks like a really, really pretty house. 800, oh, 525 square feet is quite small too, but I think that is still a bit larger than a lot of the regular tiny houses on trailers. Let me see quick where it is. It is an Airbnb. Cool, yeah, no info about when it was built or anything beyond, uh, but it looks really pretty, so let's send it. We're here at the nest. We're the first guests here, and I think you guys are gonna really like this place, so let's go check it out. This is really pretty. There isn't a lot for landscaping though. I think this must be a newer build, I guess. Look at how small, look at how small these plants are. But this screen here to block off the view of the driveway, I think is really smart to just carry the visual focus back into more of the tree line. This color palette is so beautiful. I feel like you can't go wrong with black. As far as size, I find it really fascinating. It's 525 square feet, but it's built on a foundation from what I know of in my local jurisdiction, I think that the minimum size that you can go for a home is, I think, only 650 to 750 square feet as per our building code, something like that. So I'm curious where this is located because it's really nice to see. I feel like all the small square footage homes that we see often are homes on trailers and these are so constricting. I'm really excited to view a layout that is not confined to a 8 foot to 10 foot wide limitation. Yeah, it's super cute. I'm walking inside, I think wow. is the extremely tall ceilings, open space, and all the windows on the walls in here. It's raining today, so it's a little less bright than what it would be. It's pretty dull. This stone wall is stunning, and I love the color of the cabinets. It's really nice to see just an L-shaped kitchen without an island. Uh, we have this situation in our house too. It was it was during a time, or built at a time, where islands were not really common, and so we've hum and hawed in our own house right now about adding an island, if that would be a good move or not. It's really, really nice to see a space where they've opted to go for a table rather than an island option. I think that the color of the cabinets is beautiful and I love the exposed shelving too. This is something we're thinking about doing as well. I'm not sure how I feel about the countertop finish traveling up and just only carrying up with the hood range. I maybe would have liked to see it kind of carry up underneath to the first shelf as well. I think that would have been really sleek looking, but it's such a cute little space. These chairs, I love tan leather is just, ooh, I love it so much. Everything about this kitchen is very cohesive from the color palette, the layout, it's nice. The cabinets underneath, the gray, and then the gray countertop. So pretty. And this is really unique. Wow, this countertop. This is stunning. I love all the color variation in this countertop. It's super pretty. Uh, the white, the black, and the gray, and all of that. And it even uh, goes along with this backsplash countertop above the oven. And I understand why they did this, so though. A hidden ventilation system in here, which is nice for this whole system. And the walnut wood shelves with the beautiful dishes. So pretty. Above that. Apron front sink over here behind me. Actually, okay, I want to look at these. I was thinking about doing L-shaped shelves like this, but when I put it into 3D, I didn't really like how it looked very much. Looking at this here, though, I actually really, I like this a lot. I think that it reads really nice. The one hesitancy that I have with a lot of shelving designs is just, it's visually appealing to me when the shelves dive in or die into a, a solid face rather than just having the ends exposed like this. So it's nice that it dives in with the top of the hood range here. This one's floating a little bit more, but uh, from my understanding, uppers are usually 14 inches deep and these look a lot smaller than that. I would guess that these are probably only 10 to 12 inches deep, which I think helps make it look a little bit more sleek and streamlined. When I modeled this in 3D, I did it at the typical 14 inches deep and it felt just really blocky and kind of stark. So I didn't, I was like, ooh, I might just do a straight return instead. But I really like the look of this. I think this is super pretty. Right behind this is the dining table 
really easy access from the kitchen to the dining table. And I am a huge fan of what they did here. I believe it's walnut wood, small round table. Yeah, it looks like the wood of the table might match the wood of the shelves. I'm surprised that it's only a two-seater table, but I guess given how small this floor plan is, it's so tiny, but it's so cute. It works so well. The high ceilings, I, I have always been hesitant just when I've been looking for rentals or even when we were home shopping before we bought our house. High ceilings, I find, can feel, how do I describe this, kind of expensive exposing, but I think with the high windows, I think that uh, that helps so much making this space, though it has a small floor plate, brightening it up so much. It, it's beautiful. Over in front of this kitchen, we have the living room space. It's all the, <laughs> the fire burning stove is such a nice touch here too. And this full height stone wall, I'm such a sucker for organic finishes. So whenever they're incorporated in a design, I think that this is such a beautiful way to do it. Oh, it's, yeah, this is the perfect size of living room for a small space. All connected and open in here. My favorite part is the stone accent wall over here. <laughs> the overall aesthetic of this living room space. And that's this main area. We'll walk through this hallway for your bedroom and bathroom. First room off of this hallway. This door. <gasps> main area. We'll walk through this hallway Wait, for your bedroom and bathroom. Wait, show me again. First room. I've never seen a live edge door leaf like this. This is freaking beautiful. I love this. I love, love this. I'm definitely focusing a lot on the tile too and just the configuration that it's lined in because we are doing a bathroom renovation ourselves right now. And I think this is one of the first times that I've seen the vertical stacked tile, but not, I guess, in a complete grid fashion where it's offset on each row. I'm not sure. I think I think I like it a little bit more when it all lines up just because I think that it is a bit cleaner. This looks a little bit sporadic to me, but oh my god, yeah, I'm obsessed with this door. Off of this hallway is your bathroom space and the door is this beautiful live edge wood slab wow. sliding door. If you can do this, I highly suggest it because it's beautiful. It's definitely a staple. It's not just a boring slide. It would be quite expensive to do this though. Indoor. This thing is incredible. It's huge. So wow. You can slide it open. You can feel how heavy it is and walk into the bathroom space. And this is just as beautiful as well. Oh, and then they have the black hexagon tiles. I like the look of these. I've said this before, I'll say it again. This is the one tile finish that I speculate will start to feel dated a lot quicker than some of the other tile trends that I've seen. I feel like I'm already starting to get there just because it's been done so frequently, but the finishes, all of these finishes are beautiful. The gold plumbing for the faucets is a nice touch as well. So beautiful. I'll say though, okay, just coming from the perspective of doing our own bathroom renovations right now, I can't believe how marked up gold fixtures are right now relative to the other colors. And I don't know if it's more expensive to finish them that way, and that's where the markup comes from, but it's insane. So something to be mindful of. That just really caught me back. Even the black ones too. It's just, uh, I've, I've spent a lot more time sleuthing Marketplace and Craigslist to buy some secondhand ones because brand new is just... Yeah, see, even with the inlet, the staggered vertical Ooh. stack, it just, this, I don't know, I, I I think I prefer it when it's all cohesive in the same grid pattern, because this just looks a little bit choppy to me. Shower head over here, huge glass wall, and then behind you have the Pretty. handles, so you can turn on the shower, and you don't have to get wet. Oh, really that's nice. so nice. But the tiling is something to point out in here. I like that too. The only thing about having it so far, though, is if you needed to change the water temperature, you'd almost have to get out of the shower stream to switch it it's kind of funny but it's uh it's a cool idea mm -hmm. I, out is this I love vibe. this oh my god so beautiful and over here the vanity wow the green is oh this is such a nice green gold green and like a more mid 
to dark tone of wood. Oh, so good. It feels so nice. I love this color palette. This is one of my favorite color palettes of all time. Walking through the hallway, we'll pass these closet space that has your washer and dryer in there as well. It does have a washer dryer. For how small this floor plate is, this is a really functional floor plate. I like this a lot. This this feels to me like you could live in this house. I know it's an Airbnb, but I do think you probably could live in this house full time and it would be very functional and quite practical to live in. The only, I guess, hesitancy could maybe be just the size of the table, but that's something if you had more people over and wanted to do a small dinner or something like that, uh, you could always have more of a modular or like a folding option that's not permanent, so. Well, which is nice to have in this tiny house. And then we enter into- Wow. CK, I'm such a sucker for the slat roof look. Oh my gosh. This is something, again, for our bathroom renovation right now. I'm looking at doing cedar slat on the roof. I just think it's such a nice way to bring some warmth to a space. And to be honest, from a DIY perspective, I'm much less scared of installing a slat roof like this myself than trying to do a gypsum wallboard roof. So I love this. I love this a lot. This feature light also uh, stunning. Which is your bedroom space. And in here we have a king size wow. bed. Very impressive for a tiny house. The There's windows. A floor fan oh my God. A king size bed and it's not cramped. There's a lot of walking space on both sides of this bed to get ready at, to get up and walk around. So really nice. They didn't just cram it in here. Now this accent wall behind it is the green ship flap with some hanging light fixtures on both sides. Very TV, pretty. Access to turn them on and off. Wood nightstands on both sides. Wait, so the only thing I guess, <laughs> they're on the same circuit it looks like. So I just know, okay, this is more of a practical thing, but I love having our, we have sconces beside our bed too, and they're on different switches. And it's really nice because I will often stay up reading in bed and then my partner doesn't use his. It's so small, but <laughs> I just know that that would drive my partner crazy. And over here, there's even enough space in this room for a closet. Okay. I guess uh, that it's a very small closet. Okay, yeah, okay. From a full-time perspective, this might be a little bit challenging for two people to fit their wardrobes into this space, especially because I don't think there's storage anywhere else, so. Wow. To the deck space. I love this deck space. I wonder which orientation this house faces. I wonder which side is the north versus south side. Because that's something that, like, looking at the sun chairs, I'm, I'm going to speculate. Hopefully, maybe this is the south side. I Okay, wraparound decks or porches are my favorite. I love them so much. They're so cute. This is the sliding door off of your kitchen, which is where your grill is at. So really easy access if you want to do nice. some grilling. It is connected to the gas line directly into the house, so no problem. The wood slat on the roof continues to the exterior too, and I love that continuity. I feel like it just opens up the interior to the exterior. Propane tank messing, you'll always have gas, which wow. is handy. And then a couple other seating options over here with a privacy wall on this side, even though you don't need it because there's nobody you can see over here. It's just nice to have. And this is your overall outdoor deck space here at The Nest. I'll see you guys next week in another. Very pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it a little bit early. This is so cute. This is so cute. I don't think, I, I don't really have any qualms with this design at all. I think it is so cute and really well executed. The only thing I guess that I could offer from a practical perspective, if from, from the lens of living in this home long term, if you wanted to adjust the layout to make that work, my only recommendation I would say, I think I would forego the space that has been utilized for this freestanding tub or bring it forward and have a tub shower combo and bring that square footage back into the bedroom because along this wall here that's where the tub is if you brought that backwards then you could make a much larger closet so i think that that would maybe give back some of the closet space or storage that you might need for your clothing and stuff like that and then again just from a practicality perspective these clawfoot tubs are really beautiful they're definitely more of a luxury item though and the reality is I Oftentimes they don't get utilized as often in a in a full-time residence as 
they are in a recreational space like an airbnb so it makes total sense i understand why they would add that here i think it's beautiful here especially as a short-term accommodations like an airbnb it's fantastic but that's the only tweak that i think i have in regards to this design i think it's super cute it is definitely something i would even like i would draw inspiration from this for if i were ever to design a standalone tiny residence as well i love this a lot really beautiful modern design love the horizontal wood slat screen on the deck the tie-in of natural woods with the black and the more earth toned finishes i just I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff, so I love this. Uh, that is probably all the commentary I have on this tour. I think that it's really cute. I would 1000% stay here. That's going to be my stream for today. I'm going to call it.